My fellow anatomists and Dr. Pettis, I would love to tell you about the thoracic vessels. My name's Bria Freiner. There we go. All right, let's get started. So, beginning with the aorta, we move through the brachiocephalic trunk, the subclavian artery, and down into the internal thoracic arteries. Anterior intercostal arteries one through six branch off from here. The internal thoracic artery then bifurcates to the superior epigastric artery and the musculophrenic artery from where the anterior intercostal arteries seven through nine branch off. Intercostal arteries supply intercostal muscles, the overlying skin, and parietal pleura. These arteries anastomose laterally with posterior intercostal arteries. Intercostal arteries and veins lie between the internal and innermost intercostal muscle layers. Intercostal muscles drain to the anterior intercostal veins, to the internal thoracic veins, to the brachiocephalic vein, and to the superior vena cava. Posterior intercostal arteries three through 12 branch directly off the descending aorta. Posterior intercostal arteries one and two travel from the aortic arch to the brachiocephalic trunk to the subclavian artery and branch off the costocervical trunk. Right posterior intercostal veins two through 12 drain to the azygous vein. On the left, posterior intercostal veins nine through 12 drain to the hemiazygous vein and then to the azygous vein. Left posterior intercostal veins five through eight drain to the accessory hemiazygous vein and then to the azygous vein. The azygous vein ascends and arches over the right main bronchus of the right lung before draining into the superior vena cava. Left posterior intercostal veins two through four drain to the superior intercostal vein, which drains to the brachiocephalic vein and into the superior vena cava. On both sides, the first posterior intercostal vein drains directly to the brachiocephalic vein and to the superior vena cava.